your local weather authority with meteorologist Julie Hendricks. Well, good morning. We've got ourselves a very cold start out there. Skies have cleared all across the two state and across the Wabash Valley, giving us this chilly start to the day. Currently, right now, we're seeing a lot of temperatures below freezing. Vincennes right now has 33. That's the warmest spot. Everybody else pretty much at or below freezing across the entire two state area. So this morning, with calm winds generally for much of the area, Area and those cold temperatures under clear skies, we have a freeze warning that has been issued. This is for every county out there, everyone this morning. I hope you took the advice we tried to give you last week, and I know you got over the weekend from Dan, which was please cover things up this morning or pull those plants inside if you can, because they will be damaged on a morning like this. Now, as you head out the door, you're not going to be damaged, but I promise you, you'll be like, oh my gosh, what's going on out there this morning? morning with temperatures like this again this is more like early March so it's chilly now today's temperatures will at least get into the 50s and after a frosty start we'll have some sunshine so with grabbing the coat don't forget your sunglasses too because you're going to need them today precipitation as we go over the next seven days now this is where we have to talk about some possibilities starting with later tonight and early tomorrow morning we are starting to see a few returns showing up here north of our our immediate area, but this could touch on parts of the valley. Tomorrow morning, it's not out of the question as our temperatures will be well above freezing with clouds coming in tonight for all of us that we could see a spotty sprinkle or two. We get through Wednesday and into Thursday, and again, we start to see those chances of precipitation as we go into Friday as well and into the upcoming weekend. We're looking at the possibility of some scattered showers. So this is going to be a possibility, I think, starting really as early as tomorrow morning morning a few sprinkles and then rain chances as we get toward the latter part of the week becoming more likely. So rain chances this week a little bit up and down on possibilities. What is going to happen this week is temperatures are going to get at least seasonably cool but never where they should be. The temperature trend keeps us in this cool pattern all throughout the week. As we get toward the end of the week and the start of the weekend maybe some improvements getting us a little closer to seasonable but as we start the month of May again you see that blue shading across our area because our temperatures are not going to be where they should be those 80s you felt last week you're not getting those back anytime soon. Sorry if you were looking forward to that. Today's temperatures only top out in the upper 50s. It's about 10 degrees cooler than we should be for this time of the year, but we will have plenty of sun. Those clouds roll in later tonight, and once they do, they actually are a benefit in keeping temperatures above freezing. There's not um, a huge chance, but a few sprinkles may come from a few of those clouds early tomorrow, the further north you go. It'll be cloudy much of the day on Tuesday. Some sunshine Sunshine Wednesday, but some shower possibilities as we go late week and into the upcoming weekend. I think we are going to see some scattered showers around. Te temperature wise, excuse me, the only day we even get close to seasonable is Friday. Other than that, we do remain below normal for much of the week ahead, right on into the upcoming weekend, Shelby. All right, thank you so much.